This is always quite an emotive question, actually. When we talk to people, depending on who you speak to, they'll give you two different answers. So if we assume that the ETL tool is there to move data from A to B and to process it, then there are lots of ways we could do that. So traditionally, people have handcrafted it. So if you're talking to people that like handcrafting code, they're familiar with where they're working, they generally will look at it and say, why do I need to buy a tool to do that? Yeah. If you talk to senior managers, they have the issues of change management, of controlling that source code as things evolve, then they'll say, we need to centralize it in a tool and have it more manageable. So what we've found from bitter experience over many years is that you actually gain a lot of benefit. If you're going to build a data warehouse that's going to evolve and change with your business, you want a tool set that rapidly allows you to adapt your system. The ETL tools of today, which are very GUI-based, centralized, multi-user, they enable people to change the data, document the processing they're doing as they build it. So it's a rapid development tool. So we now, more times than not, recommend that you should use an ETL tool if you've got a reasonably complex business that is evolving over time.